Hi, just something I want to show you today. I go through this on my tutorials anyway, and it's to do with getting the outline drawing onto the paper and what it leaves behind. So for example, if we use transfer paper or graphite back paper, shiny side down if you remember, what tends to happen is that when you draw over this, obviously with the, with the picture over the top, it leaves it a bit too dark on there. And the problem you'll find with that is that if it's too dark, then when you paint over the top, the lines will still show through. You'll seal the pencil within the paper. So you'll be sealed underneath the paint. So I always tend to lighten down using the putty rubber first. And I tend to think, for example, this is the, uh, the British Robin or the European Robin actually. Um, anywhere around the belly, for example, is quite white. So therefore I've lightened this area down quite a lot. So I can just about see that line there. The same around the back of the head. I've lightened that area as well. Now when I look towards other areas, like the front of the beak, the top of the beak, or the upper mandible, then that also wants lightening down as well. And also anywhere where the orange chest goes down towards the white of the belly, I want to soften these lines. Because if I don't, as I say, these lines will show through the paint. I don't want that to happen. So bear that in mind when you're uh, getting the pencil onto the paper, be it freehand using a soft leaded, say a 2B pencil, um, or using transfer paper. Just lightly soften down by tapping, not rubbing with a putty rubber because it can damage the paper if you're not careful. And just lightly kicking off, just pulling off some of that pencil. So there you go, that's one of my quick tips for today and I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.